Hey guys, welcome to my video vlog. This is Sunday night, so let's break it down of what will happen this week. Beginning with WWE. Well, the Monday Night Mafia has a new member. Buddy Murphy. I was about to say Wesley Blake for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, Buddy Murphy's the new member of the main... the. Monday Night Mafia. Reminds me of the main event Mafia from TNA, you know, but yeah, this is different. So, but, yeah. So, maybe now is Oscar Black going to ally with, with Owens, um, Joe, uh, out of um, the guy who's well, this prime big show. So, it just makes me wonder if there, there's going to be a little four-man tag match in, in next week on Raw. So, but they haven't said what match will be yet, but Anywho, but yeah, so. And also on Raw with Becky Lynch and that Oscar thing, too. It sounds like that uh, Becky Lynch is not fully fully uh, confident of, of herself. You know, it just sounds like that she's. It sounds like that she's gonna lose, you know, type of thing. You know, like she can't beat Oscar or something like that because of what happened last year's War Rumble. Well, it's. Here's the difference. Both of them are on SmackDown, SmackDown Women's title. Now, Raw Women's Town, they're both on Raw, so it's pretty much the same match that what this is going to probably be like, but, and who knows, maybe this match might start out the show like it did last year, so, but yeah. But anywho, but, um, so far on that, we'll see what happens tomorrow night. In AEW, well, I seen, uh, their, uh, Bassett, their, their Bass, Bash at the Beach <laughs> special, um, last Wednesday night. Well, last Wednesday, and um, I uh, seen that old TDP still got it. He can do a moonsault off the top rope <laughs> while well, he's over 60 years old, and still he's still kind of got it, but not that much where he can take, take a lot of bumps. But yeah, so but all in all, yeah. So and plus two, Cody Rhodes, um, he um, res uh, 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 responded to uh, MJF's challenge. Of uh, what he has to do to face him at uh, uh, Revolution, and uh, all in all, but yeah. And plus, I I didn't get a chance to see the main main event of AEW, but yeah, because I was too uh, yeah, because I was focused on watching the the, the NXT main event, and that was the uh, women's battle royal for the number contender, and I was so happy that Shayna Baszler got eliminated. She's overdue to be on the main roster. I don't know why they're still keeping her around in TNA. I mean, NXT, not TNA, NXT, so, I, I don't know, I mean, this might be her last appearance there, but, why, why, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, Bianca Belair won, so she's going to face uh, Rhea, Rhea Ripley at Portland TakeOver, so yeah, it's all in all, yeah, I've seen the, the, the fans wanted, uh, uh, Shirai to win, but at WWE, they don't give you what you want. <laughs> Some of the time, that is. <laughs> but all in all, yeah. So, and, um, and it's plus, go back to AEW, I've seen that uh, Kenny Omega and uh, um, Adam Page is going to face uh, SCU for the um, tag team titles, so. And it looks like there's a breakup in the making right now with, between Page and Omega. It's there's a lot of signs to it. it just hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. And this take title match is going to happen. I guarantee it. it's going to happen. So Paige is going to be turning heel. It's going to happen. Oh no! But on, on the SmackDown as well, Dale and Brian the Fiend are going to face off in a well in a lash match. I mean, a, well, no lash. What? A, a strap match, so to say. So, if you all remember how those work, 
So Brian might have a chance, but the Fiend is bigger than him. So yeah. So yeah, but also I mean, it was nice to see. I mean, it was nice to see a team hell no kind of reunite on SmackDown. So and all, but uh, uh but yeah. So two. Uh, the SmackDown Women's title, I mean, no question about it. Uh, I mean, it's already made. Lacey Evans got face Bailey at the World Rumble, which I saw that coming before it was announced. Um, and then, uh, and plus, John Morrison's in ring return. Not too bad, but he could have done a lot better on his finisher. That looked botched. <laughs> it did. I mean, that is a st st Starship of Pain. Yeah, it didn't look all that good, so. But I tell you that uh, one movie did, did, did on Kofi on the outside of the ring that was quite impressive. But but his uh, Char, but his Starship Pain, yeah, I need some work. <laughs> so and uh, on off of that. Anywho, the NFL. Well, the this year's Super Bowl is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs up against the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, I kind of want Tennessee to win, but ah well. Kansas get what you want, right? <laughs> so, but for see for Kansas City, I mean, this has been fifty plus, I mean, fifty some years since they've been to the Super Bowl, and plus the Niners, I think their last one was just fifteen, I believe. Yeah, something, something like that. So yeah, it's been like five years since they've been there. So, but yeah, but all in all, I'm not gonna pick a favorite to win. Uh, I kind of want the Chiefs to win because of their drought, but. Some tells me that the Niners are looking pretty tough too, so I'm not going to pick a winner. I mean, it's a 50-50, so yeah. So all in all, which I'll watch it. I mean, I'm going to watch it, and so and plus too, I uh, wonder if the W uh, never couldn't could have a a, a special play did last year for that halftime heat thing. So I'm going to watch f f for that. So. If, See if they're going to do it again. So, but uh, yeah, that's it on that. So, so we'll see once the Super Bowl becomes champs. We'll see. Anywho, uh, NBA, Portland, after they had an impressive win over Houston, but they lose their last two games against Dallas and Oklahoma City. Yeah, typical. Up and down team, <laughs> yeah, but plus the well, 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 and the Rockets are kind of struggling too. So, yeah, nothing. I mean, that's kind of an easy game for Portland. I mean, whatever is happening to the Rockets is, who knows? But yeah, and uh, what's going on? Oh, ice the national championship, college football. Well, LSU, yeah. Just seems like Clemson. Well, I mean it was a close game through throughout the first half, but when it came in the middle of the third quarter, that's when LSU began turning it on, and now they're champs. So, well, at least there's, well, at least it's not Bama. <laughs> so, but the SEC gets another title. So, eh. so, but I'm all geared up for next year. So, when Ducks meet meet Ohio State, so. That's again I'm, I'm looking forward to for next for well this year I should say for this year's college football so I'm ready for it. Just the Ducks got to stay focused and hopefully for the first time to beat Ohio State in, in ten tries. <laughs> yeah, because they're 0 9 against them all, all time. They never beat Ohio State ever. So hope this this changes. And, uh, oh, college basketball. Well, you just heard there, the game with Oregon and Washington, man went down to the wire. Yeah, the Ducks were kind of struggling a bit, too. They lost to Washington State, then they come back and almost lost to Washington. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's some their rhythm or their chemistry is not working, but, yeah. So, but all in all, but still... They're, I, in the rankings, they fell down to, like, I think it was 15th after they lost to Washington State. But it's okay. All, all that matters is the national tournament. It's all that matters. 
because rankings don't do hardly anything and, until it comes to the to conference tournaments and, the, and 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 then the national bracket tournament. So yeah, so 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 for rankings, it just it just tells you how good your team is doing and and that they have a very good high chance of getting into the uh, national tournament. So yeah, and plus Gonzaga. Boy, they handled BYU, man, <laughs> last night. And speaking of handling, woof, Santa Clara didn't come to play. And the record was quite impressive, but they didn't play like 15 and 3. They played like 2, I mean, reverse that, 2 and 15. I mean, well, 3 and 15, yeah, reverse, 3 and 15 team. Thank on Sega. Ever since half of the first half, it was over. <laughs> but Gonzaga faces him again this Saturday, though, at Santa Clara. So that's kind of one of the bad things when they whip a team, they're going to remember it. So it's kind of one of those little, yeah. And plus two, uh, their next game they face Pacific. So and I think Oregon, I'm going to take a look. I think Oregon faces one of the California teams. I can't remember which one it is. Because they haven't faced me yet the, uh, this 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 season. So let me get on here. Here, yeah. Sorry, I had a little PayPal thing. See if this thing comes up. Yeah. Loading, it's loading. Give it some time. There we go. USC. So on Thursday. All right. So there you have it. So and oh, so God's sake, it doesn't play on Thursday. They play next Saturday. So so they got th th Thursday off. Okay. So sorry, guys. It's Saturday um, is their next game for Gonzaga against Pacific. Okay. So, yeah, but, but uh, Oregon plays on Thursday, though. Okay. All right. Yeah, but all in all. But, but USC, they're 15-3, and three, so Oregon's got another tough team, too. So, But it's played at um, Matt Knight, and plus both of them have the same record. That Oregon's 15-4, and four, and USC's 15-3. and three, So, yeah, it's going to be a close one. <laughs> so... So yeah, we'll see what happens. Duck's got this. I'm not too worried. I mean, ever since they had that impressive win against Washington, they they got the mom momentum on their side. So it'll be all good. It'll be all good. And uh, anything else? I heard uh, there was a big fight in UFC. I think it was Conor McGregor and Cowboy. I don't remember the guy's name, but yeah, I think McGregor beat him like in 40 some seconds. So I don't give a rip. <laughs> But yeah, Conor Bears, Connor just got it. He has a big mouth. I mean, Connor will get to him. He will. I mean, it's happened once, right? With that, sus uh, that with that suspension, and if he keeps doing the things he's doing. It get worse. Karma. She's a real bitch. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, else uh, so anywho but anywho playlist updates I've got none I didn't do any updates on them so same with my likes this week so I did hardly nothing so yeah it's kind of a didn't do anything on my playlist so playlists but go check them out guys I mean there's there if you want to see what I have or what's on them Check them out. So, because I got a lot of them. <laughs> so, and uh, see here. Yeah. Oh, before my mind went blank, reading your comments is next. Sponsored by Buttermade 1989. Go check out his channel. Because he's doing WWE 2K20 right now. And I've been watching some of them. So, which I'm kind of trying to uh, 
not to watch it be, be, because I want to do it myself, but it's tempting. <laughs> it's tempting. Okay, starting with Al and G, as usual. <laughs> on, on my last video vlog, I'm thinking Titans versus Packers in, in, in the Super Bowl could, could be different in the NFL 100. Well, their opponents are going on now. <laughs> of course, my cousin Jeremy Zigo commented also on the same video. It, it's almost time for sp sp spring training. Okay, and Kyle Kick Power Buzz TKO coming on my on the on the same video. Are you a fan of Bret Hart and Dale Jr.? Well, whatever you may think that. My name, my name, my name. <laughs> okay, and then same guy coming on my very first video of my channel here. Of uh, the Will Lives comic, kind of an intro, and it was back in I believe it was 2012. Yeah. So his comment was, "What, what, uh, what copyright claims were in thing in 2012?" Well, yeah. Well, well, well. Plus, I already to him too. He says, "Yeah, because if you guys don't know, just to refresh your memory." I had a previous channel, but it, and uh, it was taken down because uh, WWE was getting really st uh, strict on their content. I deleted any WWE content that was on my my channel. I mean, well, as far as well, not the games, but just like live action, you know, type of thing, you know. But, um, but yeah, but there was one video on there that I missed. WWE took my channel down. So, so yeah, I missed one so to say so yeah but now but but nowadays they're kind of um, lightening up a, a little bit on it now but yeah since then yeah it was not a yeah it was not a good thing that happened but since now uh, YouTube is uh, well it's gotten worse right now for some people I've heard <laughs> so and I know one of the reasons why which I'll get to that in a sec so but all in all yeah Yeah, the button mania come out of my latest NASCAR Kart Racing Championship. Euro Series champ champions. Congrats. Thank you. Then Clint Bu uh, Buchanan come out on the same video. Finally, a, a new NASCAR Kart Racing Let's Play. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Then AI7249 come out of my WWE. Smackers Raw 2010, Mickey James, Mickey James, Road to WrestleMania Part. Nice snap. Okay, part. Final part. I know this is six years late, but but thanks for for picking the uh, Natalie op op option. Feels like feels like most people didn't even bother to, to pick it. Kind of interesting that, that you got Trish from Natalie's option and and, and getting Natalie's alternate attire from, from from Brian's. If I remember correctly, I'm I am I'm probably I probably worked through <laughs> LOL. I I did I did the story like years before. Okay. So so, so kind of refreshing your memory <laughs> in, in a way of what you're saying. Okay then, cost, 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 Kai, cost, Kai, cost, Kai, K O S T A K I K. He was on my live stream yesterday. Come out of my, I think it's my 1520 video vlog. You're amazing. Thank you. Okay then, same guy, come out of my WE. Um, my latest one, 2K20 live stream, 2K Towers. I have to subscribe to your channel. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And that's it. 
that's all the comments right there. So back, so back to the YouTube issue. Um, thanks to Buddy Man today, I seen that my 2K Towers live stream videos parts 19, 20, and 22 were um, well, they weren't taken down, but they were um, not showing up for other people's viewing. So I don't know what was going on, but it was had to do with that kids thing, but. I don't know what caused that, because I went in there and I looked in my videos, and everything was about the same, said just the same as any other mines, uh, live streams and all. So, but yeah, I don't know what happened, but it's this kids thing on YouTube, pretty much. It's which I understand they're they are trying to get kids not watching um, mature content on YouTube and all, and you know, all that stuff, which I get it. Okay, I mean you know it's protecting them, but. Sometimes there's a thing called overprotecting. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting it's getting kind of out of control for for, uh, for our YouTube's sake. Because every video, there's always the uh, is uh, this is made for kids, and and and, and plus that most of my videos are just um, which a lot of people just ignore the situation because. When someone's saying any mature language or showing anything not meant for kids, and that video says yes, it's made for kids, then some bad can happen to them. But how can you control it though? Because if you click that option, a um, a, a kid under ten or fifteen can go to that video and see all that stuff. And plus, it's common now here in the world. I mean. Us using foul language, I mean, that's like a regular, I mean, word. I mean, it's, I mean, I hear, I mean, I mean, actually, well, well, uh, I hear the F word almost like every day, even, even when I'm at work. It's a common, it's common. And plus, back in the day, oh, that was a really bad word, you know. I mean, that was the, the king of the, of language, of, of a foul language, you know. But it's common now. I mean, kids are going to hear that no matter what when, when they're in public places and all that stuff. Same with the S word, the, the uh, what I just said, the, the B word uh, with karma. I mean, it's common. And there's no way you could protect your child from the language because it's out there. It's used more places than you can ever imagine. Even family friendly places, you know, like the stores, the malls outside, in parking lots, movie theaters, I can go on and on. It's everywhere. And plus, most people don't know what those words mean. Because they don't care. I looked them up myself, and I seen what they mean. And that was a long time ago. And I still know what they mean. And sometimes, when I get mad, I do say that, but usually when I'm like, when no one's around me, you know, I mean, sometimes I get mad, Some, sometimes I get over uh, stressed out at, um, at work, and sometimes with, well, I'm tired is not a good mix, you know, I mean, I get mad if something, like if the littlest thing happens, like if uh, somebody says something to me, or if, well, I should say if something sets me off, then I'm kind of, you know, you know, walk away, you know, don't start anything. I mean, it's not worth it, you know, type of deal. But, uh, yeah. But all in all. But like I said, people, it's common. I mean, no matter what, YouTube is, is, is not helping in this. No way, no how. It's the Internet. It's the beauty and wonders of the Internet. And the real world. So. So... So I'm getting off on that, but yeah. So, no matter what, with with with, with kids nowadays, are are going to know that language, and, and they're going to hear it even before when they're probably five years old, or or even three. So, so yeah. So it's up to parents to tell them what that word means. So, well, no, off of that. Anyway, videos coming next. Um, um, more NASCAR car racing this Friday. It's already on. Uh, well, I got it. Uh, parts two and three uploaded 
already on my channel. You just gotta wait for the date. So, <laughs> yeah, so part two will be coming Friday. And plus more of my um, 2K20 live, uh, 2K Towers live stream. It's going on this Saturday, so yep. So, all in all. And pretty much, that's it. So, yeah. So, I survived the winter. Yay! <laughs> this week. Uh, yeah, we had two separate uh, snow uh, snow uh, storms, so to say. I mean, they didn't get uh, very deep. I would say, like, like, maybe the biggest one we had here was, like, maybe, like, five inches of snow. And I hardly didn't wear my boots much at all. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was that... Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. So, yeah. And I didn't... Slip on the ice or anything, so yeah, I'm good. So all in all, so that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, now it's car car racing. It's Friday, and same my live stream on Saturday. So from a guy who has over 5,000 subscribers and who lives in Pelton, Oregon, I'm signing out. Take care, guys.